a gig. Great. They love that new joke about you snoring. They don't snore. Well, you don't drag your knuckles across the ground either, but they thought that was funny too. <laughs> hey, um, did you come home drunk last night and pee in the umbrella stand? Last night? No, not last night. <laughs> Somebody did. Can I have some water? Sure, sweetie. Hey, Jack, did you pee in the umbrella stand last night? Last night? Not last night, no. <laughs> He's got my sense of humor. Oh, thank goodness someone to take over the family business. <laughs> Good night. Hey, what are these? Oh, you know that new joke that I do about the rooster? The catchphrase has kind of caught on, and a lot of women hollered out during my show, so I had these t-shirts made up. Any dude will do. <laughs> you put that joke on a t-shirt? Yeah. People love that joke, Trina. Oh, really? Yeah. How many of these did you sell tonight? Well, you can't really put a number on it. I'll try. <laughs> well, there was this drunk girl, and she threw up on the shirt she was wearing. She, she almost bought one. I mean, we can't afford to throw money around like that. Why well, not throwing money around? I mean, that's called merchandising. There's only a fixed amount that you can make at the door, and then you sell stuff after the show, and that's where the real money is. No, the real money is with the guy who sold you those ugly-ass T-shirts. Well, people love the joke. Well, that's great, honey. When we can't make our mortgage payment, we can sew them all together and live in a hilarious tent. <laughs> hey, buddy, what are you doing up? Keys are okay, but them breath mints are gonna have a little bit of a bite to them. Hey, Jack, your, your friends like t-shirts, right? Dad, I'm not selling your cock-a-doodle-doo shirts to my friends. It's any doodle-doo, and people love that joke. Well, let me ask you something before you go. Sure. D d how did you sleep last night? Good. Did you have any interesting dreams involving water? You know, like score gun fights or uh, putting out a fire with a little hose? What are you guys talking about? Oh, uh, nothing. Uh, go brush your teeth, get ready for school. <laughs> I'm a little worried about where else he's been peeing. <sighs> I got a bigger worry. It's called worry number two. Well, I'm gonna just call Dr. Martell and make sure nothing's wrong. Honey, what's this message from Frank Drummond? Oh, I'm sorry, I forgot to tell you last night. He owns a club and he wants to book you. It's called Stallions. Stallions? That's a gay club. <laughs> How do you know it's a gay club? You just know. I drove by there the other day. There was a fight in a parking lot and there was just a lot of that going on. <laughs> I can't play there. Why not? Why not? turning down work. I mean, a gig's a gig, especially since you started merchandising. The, the whole gay thing makes me uncomfortable. Two guys kissing. I feel the same way about unattractive people, but I know I'm not supposed to say anything about it. What does that have to do with telling jokes? Nothing. I just don't want to be up on stage with guys looking at me, wanting me, gaying around with each other. <laughs> Hello, Frank? Yeah. Uh, Rodney Hamilton, I got your message, but I'm already booked this weekend. There's just no way I can make it. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Okay, I'll see you Friday. <laughs> Look forward to it. <laughs> what? <laughs> you offered me $2,500 for three nights, Trina. Oh, well, for a guy with so many issues, I guess it turns out you've got a price. <laughs> and between you and me, my price is a lot lower than that. <laughs> Oh, this is just great, Barry. Look at this. <laughs> it's not funny, Barry. <laughs> now, I will not have you saying that about the greatest thing that has ever happened. <laughs> what is it about the word gay that makes everything around it look gay? <laughs> oh, we can fix that. <laughs> what are you doing carrying around duct tape? What are you doing needing it and not having any? 
Thanks. Rodney, Frank Drummond, great to have you. Hey, great to be here. I mean, <laughs> nothing, nothing. Hey, look, <laughs> we have the same shirt. No, we don't. They're not the same at all. Your sleeves are loose and mine are fitted. <laughs> Which is the first time I've ever said that about a shirt, ever. Okay, um, again, glad you're here. Uh, you're up in 10 minutes. Okay, switch shirts with me. What? Switch shirts with me, I'm not wearing this gay shirt in there. <laughs> Out here? Yeah, we're damn sure not doing it in the men's room, and everything beyond that door is the men's room. <laughs> hey, you're the guy performing tonight, aren't you? Yeah. Can I get a picture? No, 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 no means no! I don't belong here. The gays are not going to get my humor. I also don't think the gays are going to like you calling them the gays. <laughs> Come on, Rodney, just relax. I mean, you know, it's just a place. How different can it be? Well, you know, I mean, other than that. <laughs>